Hey folks, Aldo here. For those who may not know me, I'm a ZTM alumni who went from absolutely no tech background or experience to becoming a full stack developer. And now I've made it my mission to help others thrive and succeed in their own journeys. In today's episode, we are diving deep into an often overlooked but absolutely essential aspect of being a software engineer. It's what I like to call the human side of tech, and that is soft skills, the array of personal and interpersonal qualities that truly distinguish a remarkable software engineer from the rest. We'll explore those subtle yet powerful attributes that can make all the difference in a tech environment. These aren't skills that you can find in code or in textbooks, but instead ones that you develop in the field and in your daily interactions. These skills can turn a complex project into a successful one, transform a group of individuals into a high-performing team, and most importantly, elevate a technically proficient engineer into an effective and respected leader. So without further ado, let's dive in. The first soft skill we are discussing today is one you've probably heard about numerous times, and that is communication. Communication isn't about being a public speaker, but instead about clarity and conciseness, whether it's explaining your code, explaining past experiences in an interview, or aligning with your team on a project, being clear and to the point is key. Now, there are two main types of communication, oral and written communication. Oral includes face-to-face -face conversations, phone calls, video calls, presentations, and pretty much anything else that would require you speaking. While written encompasses all forms of writing, such as emails, Slack messages, reports, documentation, and so on. Now that we have a general understanding of the two main types of communication, let's go over ways that we can enhance them. For oral communication, try joining a public speaking club like Toastmasters, engage in more group discussions, or simply try recording yourself speaking to analyze your pace, clarity, volume, and body language. Now, when it comes to improving your written communication, it's pretty simple. You want to write regularly, be it through blogs or forums. Contributing to open source projects is great as well, as it requires you to communicate with others. Whatever you choose to do, remember that improving your communication is a continuous journey. The more you practice, the better you will become. Next up on our soft skills list is teamwork. It's a skill as crucial as any other technical skill you can possess. Teamwork isn't just about collaborating on a project, but instead being the type of colleague that everyone wants on their team. This means stepping beyond your job description to help others, taking the time to patiently answer questions, and maintaining a positive attitude instead of complaining. It's also about reaching out across departments, understanding their challenges, and offering support. Remember, in a company, you're all striving towards a common goal. And let's not forget, Great teamwork doesn't just make your daily work life better, but can be a key factor in landing that next promotion. To improve teamwork, try to actively engage in team building activities or workshops. Also, regularly seek feedback from your team to see how you can better collaborate and contribute to the team's success. Moving on to our third soft skill, which is problem solving. Problem solving truly is a cornerstone soft skill in tech and almost a non-negotiable. It isn't just about following directions, but instead about being innovative and thinking creatively. Remember, sometimes it's about finding the most simple solution to the complex problem. And just like anything else, it gets better with practice and experience. Now, if you're looking to improve your problem-solving skills, diving into your own projects is key. While tutorials are a great starting point, nothing beats the learning experience of tackling real-world problems head-on. When you build something from scratch, you encounter unexpected errors and learn to navigate through them, which is literally the essence of problem solving. Another strategy is to actively engage in community problem solving forums like Stack Overflow or GitHub. Not only do you get to work on some very cool projects, but you get to see how other engineers approach and solve issues, broadening your perspective. Next up, our fourth soft skill, time management. In the bustling world of tech, time management is crucial, not just for productivity, but also to maintain a healthy work-life balance. It's about more than just meeting deadlines and checking tasks off a list, but instead about maximizing the efficiency of our most valuable resource, time. Effective time management allows you to prioritize your tasks, focusing on what truly matters and needs immediate attention. Now there are tons of ways that you can become better at managing your time, so I'm just going to name two of the most popular and proven methods for doing so. 
Firstly, we have the Pareto Principle, also known as the 80-20 Rule. This principle suggests that 80% of your results come from 20% of your efforts. By identifying the tasks that yield the best results, you can work more efficiently and not just harder. Another great technique is the Feynman Technique. It is a four-step process for learning, and essentially what you're doing is teaching what you're learning as you're learning it. We made a video just on this topic, so if you want to learn more about it, click the link in the top right-hand corner to check that out. And now we arrive at our final soft skill, coachability. Being coachable, in my opinion, is invaluable. Coachability refers to the willingness to be corrected and to learn from that correction. It's about having an open mind and a humble attitude towards learning, whether you're a newbie or a seasoned professional. Being coachable means actively seeking feedback and not viewing it as criticism, but instead as a valuable tool for personal and professional growth. To enhance your coachability, you have to seek out feedback from colleagues and mentors. I know it's basic, but it's the best way for you to grow. Be open to different perspectives and be willing to apply the feedback that you're receiving because if not, you're just wasting everyone's time. It also shows that you value and are committed to continuous improvement, which is essential in tech. And that's a wrap on the five key soft skills that every software engineer needs to know. From communication to coachability, these skills are your toolkit for not just surviving, but thriving in the tech industry. If you found this video helpful, please drop it a like. It really helps us out. And if you're enjoying the content on this channel, hit that subscribe button. As always, feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay humble, stay positive, and I'll catch you in the next one.